<sighs> okay, guys. It's Super G again. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Um, I'm, I'm just not sure. Uh, they saw something that literally terrified them. Um, like they, they legit were terrified. Uh, that was, that was not, that was, they were not messing around with that. Um, I said, I guess that that was the tape that was in the camcorder was what was over here. Um, I have not seen anything else. This, this is the hotel room. I'm guessing that they were in when that all went down. Um, it's awfully quiet now too. Off, awfully quiet. Um, so I, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened. They, I, I'm guessing it was, they saw a ghost of, or of Rachel or some, something happened and scared the crap out of them. And in turn, I got to admit, frightened me a little bit too. What? Like the, why the mirrors like legit snatched off the wall? Is that not weird? Okay. <clears throat> Let me look at the map. And see if it tells us potentially what our next move is. Nothing. It doesn't tell us to do anything. Maybe we should just leave the room. Because I'm not I'm not seeing anything else in here um, that I can interact with. I watched the tape. Uh, I've checked all this stuff on the table. I've seen that. Empty VHS. I've looked at all of this stuff. There's another tape on the floor. I can't interact with it. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's like some type of yogurt drink. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I do appreciate you guys um, hanging out with me while I play this game. Uh, well, let's leave the room then. I don't know that there's anything more I can do here. Hey. <gasps> what? For fuck's sake, Irving. Right. Uh, uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Not funny, dude. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Well, you should be. You're never going to believe it. Well. Uh. What? This is a crawl space. I'm not going to go in there yet. I just wanted to open it. Because I don't think that that's where we're supposed to. What, what is this? Mala? What, 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 is, what, is, what do you use Mala for? Mala cleaner? <laughs> what is this? Ne Nemo? As in Finding Nemo. I love that movie when it first came out, man. I really did. Okay, she asked. So... This is clearly a dream. Old friend, we looked at that already. How can... What? Are there any matches scheduled for the local team? Uh, I'm afraid there is no local team. I remember they were talking about starting a Helena hockey team ten years ago. No team. Since when are you interested in hockey? Well, I played hockey when I lived here. Sure wow. did. You could even start playing again. Doubt it. Actually, my old stick should be around here somewhere. I'd like to take that back. I didn't see it in my room. Huh. Uh, so we're on a quest to find the hockey stick now? I wouldn't imagine it would be in her dad's room. Esoteric books. Esoteric. Uh, let's see. I'm just taking a look around. I don't... Music box? Oh, look at that. I thought I lost you that time the Thompson girl came to play. Leonard must have found you someplace. Oh, the key's missing. Well, maybe better that way. You know what I find interesting? Um, she never refers to him as dad. She always calls him Leonard. I, I think that's interesting. I, I mean, I I get, um, 
you know, I, I get that she is, um, you know, she's she's in her feelings about her dad um, regarding what happened. Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? What day is it? Did you forget what day it is? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go! I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. Thanks. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. We've... You trying to tell me something? But I... I don't get it. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all we do? this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> Maybe I'm sharpening my knives. I thought you were a Boy Scout. Two days ago, I imagined you as a pimply kid from rescue services with a Boy Scout complex. Pimply? My skin is as smooth as a 12-year-old's. It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a <laughs> few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm, <laughs> I'm grateful for it. Yeah. I wouldn't have met you without it. Are you hitting on me? Irving, are you hitting on me by any chance? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you, I mean, it's just, I... Relax, I was kidding. I can never tell when you're kidding. Yeah, it's one of my fascinating virtues. Same. She Ooh, does have a I'm nice voice, though. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night, too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon. Here I am. I'm cracking up to with their conversation. I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Uh, hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't wow. be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Did you hear that? Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. I heard right. Wait there. I definitely heard something. Uh, okay. Uh, what? I don't think it was in here. Let me see what's on the map. Uh, nothing. Not a thing. I mean, I, I hear it. I heard it. I don't hear it now, though. It's like a clinking. Yeah, I don't I don't hear it now. I'm I want to go back here. It's this 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 may be detrimental to my health. <laughs> but I want I want to do it. Like what 
What is this door here? What what is this? What? Staff Oh. Okay. Yeah. I I was thinking about earlier when I said I was happy to have met you. Uh-huh. I I just I, I I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I I feel real close to you, Nikki. Uh, God. I hear myself talk. I sound like an idiot. I don't understand what you're saying. Let's put, let's put this. Let's put this. Let's. We'll, we'll Arthur, talk to him about it. I, I don't know what you're trying to say, but right now I'm dealing with something else. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please, shh a sec. I'm trying to listen to this noise. All right, I get that I might be overdoing it. Sorry, I'm a klutz, and and sometimes it's Irving. Please shut, shut up. up. Right. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um, later. Okay. Wherever it is. What? Not that way. Like my controller is like slightly vibrating. No. What was that? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Irving, you hear me? Oh, I had to stop. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I, I I was hearing something. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was uh, busy. Oh. Uh, busy? No problem. It's fine. What'd you want to tell me? I hear some it's noises. Microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Hotel's full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's getting it's getting louder. Is it coming from that room? 117? Let me... It may not it may not be in here. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's outside this room. Let me let me run. We hear it. I'm sure can you guys hear that? I feel like it's getting dimmer. Upstairs, maybe? I'm not, I'm not getting like a, it's, it's fading away. Running around this building trying to find some noise. This is hilarious. What? Okay, it's getting fainter. Not here, I guess. Where the heck is it?
Where is the sound coming from, man? I'm, I'm having, I'm. The only thing else I can guess is that it's below me, not above me. Mold. Mode. Okay, so let's take the stairs back down. Bro. Like, it's really high this way. But I think it has to be beneath us. Let's go down again. Let's go down again. This way? Oh, it's really high now. Into the ballroom, maybe? Is this it? It's like maxed out. Music sheets, lonely thoughts. Out of tune piano. <laughs> uh, wait, what happened? No, not not that. Put that away. I can't, I can't access, the, what, where am I? It's gone. Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Uh, maybe you're right? Maybe you're right. Who knows, but... It seemed so similar to how I remember it. Hey, don't think about it anymore. If it comes back, we'll try and figure it out. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. We I can, can hear it. Picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Mm. Rachel. She... talked. I can't move, by the way, guys. The like, I'm, I'm stuck in this spot. An adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Fuck. It was the beginning of the end and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. Uh, what, what else I've, I've noticed that I find interesting too, uh, is that he's gone from calling her Nicole to Nikki. Um, I'm not sure. Um. Boy, why, why are we in here? How, how do we just wake up in the church? Let's get this flashlight. Get this, let's get the, I can't turn anything on. I, I can't, I can't access anything. Ooh, the wind blew it down. Someone's been sleeping out here? 
I, I can't do anything, guys. Um, none, none of my, none of my, uh, I can't turn anything on. I can't get my, my Polaroid. I can't get my, um, my flashlight. So I guess I'm going down here. Like, how random is it to just wake up standing in the church? Like, that's... Is that not strange? And the fact that I can't... I can't access any of my stuff. I can't access anything. Like, why am I even out here? I can't even access my map. What the heck is going on? I'm tripping a little bit, guys. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Well, I'm tripping a little bit. Okay, we've been... We've been in here before. We can't We can't go anywhere. That's, that's closed off. She said she was supposed to be going to her room to get some sleep. But then you just wake up here? This makes no sense. Well, obviously there's nothing. I just I just figured I'd look. We're here. There's nothing out here. Okay, let's go back. Uh okay, let's go back to this way. Hey, it's a game. It's a game room. Another. Why are the why are, why are all these floppy disks around? And again, I still I still can't use my flashlight, so I can't interact with anything in here anyway. Still cool to know it's a Mission to Mars. I don't think that's a real game. <laughs> What's that say? Game room. Yeah, I don't think that's a real game, y'all. Um, okay. Well, I guess we're going to go to our room. I, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I can't, I can't pull up anything. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the master suite. I think it's down here on the left. Yep. Down here. I mean, we're back, but but now what? What? What the? Irving? Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> It's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No! Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Uh, sleepwalking oh. episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh, uh... Irving? Yeah? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
Nikki. See? Yeah, I mean she's she's caught on to it too. I guess in the grand scheme of things it's not it's not well, I don't I don't know. Uh, you you guys aren't necessarily friends, so to speak. Um I have to go back to the church. Don't want really, but my sleepwalking must be a sign. Okay. Let me see if I can remember exactly how to get back there. Just try to kind of try to retrace my steps here. Go back through here. Go down here. And down through here. And here. And back through here. That was the game room. We didn't come that way, did we? No, I don't think so. Uh, hi. I, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. Uh, you, you don't think I'm crazy so then? So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere. Including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was hmm. a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. If you notice, guys, I try to give uh, give the game an opportunity to, um, uh, when they're having dialogue like that, to give the opportunity to speak through it all. I didn't, I didn't know if by going in here while talking to him would disrupt that. Um, I can't see, uh, is that first Corinthians? I can't, I can't see. It's Corinthians for sure. Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets, but he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart or it's your end, round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you, all that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How... it's... I... I... Wow. Total mystery. Wanna play? Uh, I... yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. 
I'll I'll call you if anything comes to mind. Okay, guys. Well, I think what I'm going to do is take a break here because we have we have a, an image here to report. We can play the organ if we want. That that's it. Want to play the organ in a church in the middle of the night? Really? <laughs> What are you doing there? Don't know. I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. Uh, I've always loved Phantom of the Opera. I'm a Phantom of the Opera fan. It's been years since anyone played it. <sighs> My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. You should take it with you. To play it. In Portland. I never learned. I never learned. I couldn't play even if I wanted to. I never learned. I don't... I think playing the organ is a crucial thing these days. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. <laughs> I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then, there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know wow. how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house, if Rachel <laughs> had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Was she so perfect? Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous yeah, I was. Yeah, I was about to say that. You sound really jealous. Um, but yeah, so I, I want to take a break here, guys. When we come back, we'll continue... Uh, reporting these images uh, to Irving, uh, piecing together this uh, this part of the story, and it will keep it going, guys. Um, I, I'm only I'm I'm very curious to see inevitably where this all goes. Um, I would be interested to know if we come face to face with Rachel at some point. Uh, this, I, but I, a, I, you'll find that out here. So, guys, if you come back uh, on tomorrow, you'll see more of uh, the sacrifice of Rachel Foster, and uh, we'll figure out what's happening. So, you guys, listen, take it easy, enjoy your day, evening, afternoon, or night, whatever time it is you're checking out my video, and I will see you guys again soon. Later.